Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a boomerang for Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, then this is the one I just uploaded. So yeah, it's gonna look something like that. So let's go into Final Cut Pro. So you have your shot that you wanna change into a boomerang. Boomerangs always look better when it's going back and forward from like a camera movement. With this shot, it kinda of goes up to there. So right before it pans up, what I'm going to do is cut it right there. And then I'm going to go to the end of the camera movement. So right there, and then I'm going to cut it again. And then I'm just going to delete these two bits here. So you'll notice some boomerangs, they have like a, like a kind of a bounce effect. It, it speeds up and then slows down and it looks kind of cool. So what I'm going to do to this shot here is add a speed ramp effect. You don't have to do this if um, if you just want to make like a quick one then you can skip this part and just go to the end where I start copy and pasting the clip. But if you want to make it look really good then this is what you got to do. So what I'm going to do is add a speed transition near the start and near the end of this shot right here. So to do that I'm going to use my marker and about there, I'm gonna hold shift and press B, and that's gonna create a speed transition right there. And then I'm gonna go to the end, select my clip, move the marker, hold shift and B, and that's gonna create another one. And then this part in the middle, I'm gonna go to fast times eight. You can make that as fast as you want, just to change the effect, but I think times eight is gonna work well for the shot. And now you just wanna copy and paste the shot and put them one after each other and because you can't reverse because I can't reverse this clip with the speed ramp effect what I'm going to do is change it into a compound clip and then I'm going to reverse this shot so that shot's normal and that shot's reversed so now let's see what this looks like should have the boomerang, boomerang effect So once you're happy with how that looks, then the next step is just to copy and paste these. We have a normal shot, reverse shot, and what you want to do is just copy and paste the normal shot. And you're just going to keep going along until you've got a normal shot, reverse shot, normal shot, reverse shot, all in a row. Okay, so now you should have something that looks like this. Pretty cool, like speeds up and then slows down. Okay, so there's two ways to export this. You can either just export it as it is in normal like 1080 widescreen and then put it on Instagram as like a square or widescreen. Or what I did for mine was actually made it into like a tall Instagram video. So to do that, what I did was I selected all of my shots here and my color correction and turned it into a compound clip. And then I pressed Command J to bring up my project settings up here. And I went to Modify. And then I went to Custom. And I used 2160 by to 600 hit OK and now you just want to scale the, your shot up to fit the screen so about there and then what I did was I just selected the project and go to export go to Apple devices 1080 uh, better quality and I hit that one and just went next so we'll just save this as boomerang and once all that was saved I then sent the clip I sent the clip to my phone via airdrop on on the Mac and then just upload to Instagram 
So yeah, that's how you can create a cool boomerang effect for your Instagram. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.